Alright, Reading Rainbow, episode 115, Archibald Frisbee. This is the story of Archibald Frisbee, who was as crazy for science as any kid could be. Archibald was so smart and he read such a lot that he saw things in ways other people did not. He liked zoology, no doubt about that. You could tell by the way he looked at the cat. He had taken apart every kitchen appliance. They had given their lives in the interest of science. Other kids his own age, he just simply ignored. If I played at their games, I am sure I'd be bored. His mom, Miss Frisbee, was growing concerned because of the things that her Archibald spurned. One day in his room, where he had been for hours, she caught him red-handed dissecting her flowers. She was called by his school and wondered, What next? He'd been found at recess with an algebra test. Algebra text. Well, the good Miss Frisbee soon thought it was horrific, her child obsessed with all things scientific. So she turned off his Mac and she booted him out to a camp where he'd find what fun was about. He begged and he pleaded. He let his mom know that he had things to do and did not want to go. But poor Archibald, Mom would not hear his side, seeing force become motion, squared himself for the ride. When they got to the camp, she hugged him and said, Forget science a while, have a good time instead. As he observed her car speed away out of sight, he wondered if maybe his mother was right. But old habits die hard. And though he felt blue, he still ran a few tests on the mulligan stew. While the other kids told their tall tales by the fire, Archibald's thoughts were considerably higher. <coughs> when a thunderstorm boomed, filling campers with dread, guess who was busy sketching clouds overhead? At crowd time, the campers made things for their mothers. What Archibald made was like none of the others. Nature walks in the woods. He did not want to miss. What a beautiful day for photosynthesis. On a field trip from camp in a cave down below, the guide heard some things even she didn't know. In a contest to see who could build the best kite, Archibald took first prize for the world record height. On line at the fountain, he made everyone think of the earth and the sky and the water they drink. The campers decided Frizz was the man to explain to the counselors their recycling plan. For the scavenger hunt, his group needed pine cones. Instead, they came back with some very old bones. At the last game of summer, campers versus the staff, when Arch came to bat, they tried hard not to laugh. But to win the ball game, he gave his assistance by plotting the angle of maximum distance. His teammates exploded with cheers, whoops, and cries. It was better than winning his first Nobel Prize, and Archibald thought, as he sat with his friends, it's sad all experiments must come to their ends. When his mother arrived, she was busting with joy. I just cannot believe this is my little boy. When the car loaded up and departure time near, Arch said, Hey! I forgot my best souvenir! The end.